Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 14.5 ounce 3 wick snow ink candle from Bath & Body Works, part of the Holiday 2024 collection. So as you guys know, this candle has been covered by the press quite a bit lately uh, because of its questionable label design. And as a result, the candle has been pulled, so it was pulled from the website a few hours after it was initially released. And then of course, all the stores that are getting shipments of this candle into their stores, uh, they have been instructed to damage out the candle, so they have to peel and rip the labels off, and then trash the candle so you can no longer buy this candle anymore. I, however, was able to get it. I just simply placed an order early on the first day that it was released, uh, and I got an order confirmation, and it obviously came in the package uh, in the mail, and here we have it. And I just really wanted to review this candle based on the fragrance itself, because I was just excited to try it on new fragrance and see if it was a repackage, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm doing the candle review here today. When I first saw this candle, I really just saw paper snowflakes, and I really didn't see anything else, and I didn't think twice about it. Uh, but then, of course, the reports on social media were uh, coming in and people were saying that the imagery obviously could be interpreted to be something offensive or imagery that was associated with racism and I can totally see that. Uh, I don't think it was Bath & Body Works' intention to put out a candle that was purposefully uh, offensive in any way. Um, I think it's just uh, people have different viewpoints in life. Like we all experience and see life through different lenses and filters that are a result of our experiences, you know, our cultural upbringing, our environment, uh, all that kind of stuff. And and so I think both viewpoints are indeed valid in terms of, you know, one person might see something here and then one person might see something else uh, with this label. Uh, but I, I don't think it was Bath & Body Works intention, especially because they do have so many of those like those Heritage Month collections and they do put in quite a bit of effort into their like diversity and inclusion type of uh, topics. So I just don't think that this was intentional, but I can see how both viewpoints are indeed uh, valid. So I can see the controversy surrounding this candle and understand why this candle was pulled ultimately. So moving on to the fragrance, the notes on this read, creamy buttermint, sweet musk, and cozy vanilla. So what's confusing is we've had a snowing candle twice before from Bath & Body Works. Long story short, it's neither of those two candles. It's a different fragrance completely altogether, but it does smell like a blend of two candles from Bath & Body Works. So it smells like twisted peppermint mixed with the marshmallow musk, uh, which was then repackaged as the vanilla musk candle. So twisted peppermint and vanilla musk is pretty much what this smells like. On cold, you do get quite a bit of like a minty coolness in here that's nice and it does make it more deviated from the vanilla musk fragrance but I have to say when you go to burn it the peppermint does burn off quite a bit that you just get like this slight variation of the usual vanilla musk fragrance so it's kind of disappointing there but in any case what you do get is that sort of like cool uh, peppermint candy cane feel that you get from twisted peppermint is added there first and then after that you get like the marshmallow musk vanilla musk fragrance which is a beautiful fragrance I actually really 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 enjoyed it the original marshmallow musk was quite potent and nice and I really enjoy that fragrance but then vanilla musk was the second version and it just had a very much diminished throw that I could barely smell it that it was kind of disappointing and unfortunately this takes cues from that diminished vanilla musk candle rather than the original marshmallow musk formulation. But what you get mixed with a twisted peppermint is this like beautiful, powdery, textured, velvety marshmallow quality mixed with a vanilla is what you get in the vanilla musk marshmallow musk fragrance. And it it's almost has this like perfumey, uh, slightly floral, sophisticated musk vibe to it that makes the candle a little bit inedible but it's like this powdery velvety marshmallow fragrance that's perfect for evoking like the powdery snow type of concept that goes well with the concept of this candle and then to add like a cool mint to it that makes it like wintry and icy it's such a great concept for snowed in but unfortunately it's just that the throw on it is so diminished that when you go to burn it unfortunately the peppermint burns off and then you're just left with like a low throw vanilla musk candle that it's actually not even that great when you go to burn it. So that's just too bad overall in the execution of this candle on multiple fronts. Uh, but yeah, perhaps if this may be coming out in a wallflower, um, you might get some satisfaction out of there because the fragrance itself is nice, but it just falls flat when you go to burn it, unfortunately. So it's pretty much it for the fragrance on this, and let me go into the performance. This is a third or fourth burn, uh, and it has the core wicks on it. Kind of performs just like the original vanilla musk candle that we had. Um, it sets quite a bit after like three hours, so make sure you're on top of trimming it. Just the usual kit and caboodle with the performance on this. As for the throw, very much on par with that second vanilla musk that we had. Quite light, I would say like maybe in the three to a four range. Maybe up to like a four, four and a half possibly in a very small enclosed bedroom but like an open concept area i would say like no more than a three very much in the light range unfortunately 
Overall, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to say one and done or that I wouldn't, I would or would not repurchase this because I can't, but I guess maybe if it gets relabeled possibly, but it is one and done as it stands in this format, just because the throw on it's so light and I already have the original Marshmallow Musk and Vanilla Musk. Uh, if you're like bummed that you couldn't get this fragrance, uh, if you have Marshmallow Musk or Vanilla Musk already, this is very close to it. Um, the Peppermint is a very pretty addition on cold, but because it doesn't come through too much when you go to burn it, it's actually quite similar to Vanilla Musk, so you're not missing out too too much on it uh but once again maybe try the wallflower if that comes out uh and you might get some satisfaction out of there because the fragrance is pretty despite all the you know the unfortunate things that went on with this candle so that's pretty much it let me know your thoughts on this candle below and i'll talk to you guys later bye